Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out makeup from Dear Dahlia. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you stay updated with future videos that I post. Also, follow me on Instagram. My username is at Tina underscore Yong. Also, just to let you guys know, I will be doing a giveaway, so make sure you watch until the end of this video for more details. Now, this brand Dear Dahlia, I've seen online for quite some time now, but I've never tried any of their stuff. I feel like lately, maybe they're getting a bit more popular or I'm seeing a lot more advertisements online. So I thought I would try a bunch of their makeup out. I bought a few products on YesStyle. I think maybe they're stocked in stores now, maybe Sephora. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that though. But I feel like you can find them easily online nowadays. The first product I have here is their Skin Paradise Blooming Cushion Foundation. I got the color Soft Sand, which is the darkest shade in their range. They have four shades, so I'm not too sure if it's gonna match me or not. The packaging to this sort of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty packaging. Unlike other cushion foundations, this one you have to press down to release the product. The coverage to this cushion foundation is lightweight. It isn't a full coverage foundation as you can see. It doesn't really cover up this eyeliner too well. Then I got their concealer. This is the Paradise Jewel Palette Concealer in Medium. I really like that there is a pink undertone and a yellow undertone, so you can use one for under your eyes and the other to spot conceal or brighten up certain areas. Now with the concealer, it isn't super full coverage either. It will cover up imperfections and you probably will have to build it up if you want more of a full coverage. Then I bought the Paradise Jewel Palette Multi Balm and Eyeshadow Trio Special Set. So in the set you get five different compacts. The first one I have here is the Peach Champagne Multi Balm. Both these shades can be used on the cheeks, eyes and lips. This shade is Sunset Romance. It has two shimmery eyeshadows and a multi balm. This one is Lady Oxford. It has a multi balm and two matte eyeshadows. Then we have Coco Delight. This one has a shimmer shadow and two matte shadows. This one is Caramel Slice. Again, this has two matte eyeshadows and one shimmer shade. When I was watching these, I noticed that the matte shades aren't very pigmented, but you get better payoff with the shimmer shades. So that's all the products I got. I'm going to start off by trying the cushion foundation first. Let me just put my hair back. I'm wearing clip-in extensions and I have not worn clip-in extensions for years. Feels a little bit heavy. So I'm going to apply this on half my face first so you guys can see a difference. I got the darker shade, which is, what was it, soft sand. And it's probably equivalent to number 23 in most Korean foundations. So there's four shades in this. And if this is the darker shade, um, it's not very dark. So that's half my face done. Even though it's quite light coverage, I feel like if you have like just certain discolorations, that's enough to cover it. However, it isn't like a medium to full coverage cushion foundation. So for me, I felt like I needed about two or three pumps of this foundation to cover my whole face. This foundation does have a slight smell to it. it kind of smells like essential oils. Now with the finish to this foundation, on camera, it looks really dewy, but in person, like I feel like when you touch your skin, it feels like it has set and it's more of like a demi matte, um, but on screen, it just looks like super dewy. For me, I'm probably gonna set this later because I don't wanna look too shiny and I get really oily throughout the day. So I'm just gonna like set my T-zone after I conceal, which I shall do now. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer, and like I mentioned before, there's two shades. There is a pinkier shade, which is <laughs> this one. This one is the pinkier shade, and then this one is a more like yellow undertone. Also in the compact, there's a little tiny mirror, and you can just peel the plastic off, like so. So I'm just gonna grab a little brush here. This is, what brush is this? The Sigma Large Shader Brush. It's just like a flat brush. And I'm gonna use this to conceal under my eyes first. I feel like this mirror is so tiny. I feel like I need to close one eye to actually see what I'm doing. I'm just going to apply this underneath. 
Now obviously you can use your fingers to apply the conceal if you want to warm it up and really like blend it in or just tap it in with your finger. Oh gosh, this mirror is just too small, I can't use it. I need to use a bigger mirror. I'm also going to pop a little bit over my eyelid just to even out that area. That's one eye done. Can you guys see the difference? Oh god, this side is so bad. I stayed up until like 4am with Alfred last night and we were playing Call of Duty, like the zombie one, and it was so fun and scary. If you guys have played it, it's just like this endless game where you have all these rounds of zombies coming out and you just gotta kill them all and it just gets harder and harder. And seriously, like one game can last up to like an hour or something. So we stayed up so late and that's why I had bags. There you go, all nice and concealed up. I'm looking a lot more fresh. I'm gonna go in with the other shade and I'm gonna use this to, let's use it to highlight. I'm gonna just pop it on a little bit of my forehead, down my nose. And I'm just gonna pop it around my nostrils because I usually get a little bit red around there. Now for this, I feel like a beauty sponge will blend this out a lot better than my little brush. So I'm just gonna dab and blend away. This sponge I got at Olive Young in Korea and it was so much cheaper than the Real Techniques sponge, but pretty much like the same thing, but blue. My base is done and I don't really feel like the foundation has really darkened up or oxidized too much. Generally, I go for a slightly darker shade. If you have a similar skin tone to me, I'm usually a MAC NC20, if that helps at all. Now, I want my base to last, so I'm going to powder it. And I'm just using this ColourPop No Filter powder. It's like a pressed powder in light. And I'm using my favorite powder brush lately. This is the um, Smashbox Angled Powder Brush. I really like this brush because generally when I use other brushes, I use like the side to press down the powder. But because this is angled, you can just use it like so. So it doesn't really like shift and move your base too much. You can just like pat it on top. Alrighty, let's move on to eyes. Now, I feel like all the eyeshadow colors here, they're quite wearable. They're more of a sort of like natural-ish shade, so nothing like too crazy out there. So I feel like if you're looking for something like an everyday sort of look or even something that you can wear at night, these colors are great. They're kind of like foolproof. I don't know which color to do. Maybe I'll mix a whole bunch of them. I'll try to use as many colors as I can for today's look. Um, let's start off with this one first. This one is, what is the name of this one? You are Coco Delight. Coco, like my dog. So let's go in with the matte shades first. Now, when I swatched this, like I mentioned, it wasn't very pigmented, so I wonder if like applying on with a brush would be much better. So I'm just going to use this as my crease color. It does blend really nicely, but I feel like the color payoff is not there. Like you really have to build this up. So I'm just going to bring it almost up until my brows. I'm going to go quite high with this color. So that's about three layers of that color and that's the look I'm getting. Let's go in with the darker shade. Hopefully this one is a little bit more intense. It's getting there. You just gotta build it up layer by layer. Normally with all my Urban Decay shadows, my MAC shadows, you can get this intensity like straight off the bat, but with this, you definitely just gotta work at it and just build it up. Which could be good for some if you're heavy handed, but if you are used to more of that intense pigmented color, I don't think you're gonna like these. I'm gonna grab this little compact and this shade, the darker brown is from Lady Oxford. I'm just gonna again build up the intensity around my lash line. Okay, this might take a while considering barely anything is coming out. Then I'm gonna go into Sunset Romance and use these two shimmer shades. 
Um, let's use the darker one first. I'm just gonna use my fingers for this because this is gonna look so much better using my fingers. And I'm gonna pop this on the outer corners. The shimmer shades are way better than the mattes. I said I'd apply it on the outer corners, but I feel like I've got fat fingers and it kind of just went everywhere. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade now and try to pop it on the center, see if that actually makes a difference. I'm just going to go in with that plummy shade again and try to just deepen up my outer corners. This eye makeup is taking way too long. It took me forever to just to blend my eyeshadow out and just kind of deepen up the outer corners. I ended up lining my eyes doing a winged liner and I popped on lashes. This is from my brand Petite Cosmetics and the style is Empress. You guys can get 10% off if you use my code TINA10. Now I'm going to move on to my bottom lash line. I'm just going to do this really quickly. Going back to that Coco Delight palette, I'm just going to pop on the shimmer shade on my lower lash line. Oh, I don't think I can use this mirror. It's way too small. It's making me go like cross-eyed. Just going to run that quickly onto my lower lash line. Now let's try out the multi pots. This is the Peach Champagne, I think it was called. Yes, Peach Champagne Multi Pot. So I'm going to use this as a blush. And that's how it comes out. It has a sort of like velvety mattifying um, finish to it. Kind of feels almost like, like a silicone primer, if you know what I mean. It feels like that. So I'm just going to pop this shade onto the apples of my cheeks. And then just quickly use my fingers to blend that out. Some of the other compacts also have multi balms, so these can be used as a cheek color on your eyes and on your lips. I might mix another shade. Let's use the one from Lady Oxford. And then I'm just gonna blend that on top. Let's use it as a lip color. It's probably too pale for lips, let's take that off. Ugh, bad idea. I think the one in the Sunset Romance compact will be better for lips. So this is the final makeup look, which I'm actually loving. I don't know if it's just like, is it just the makeup or is it because I'm wearing hair extensions and I'm feeling a little bit glam today. Don't know what it is, but I actually really like the end results. I'm not going to do a full day wear test because it is 7.30 p.m. now, it's almost dinner time and I ended up filming this video quite late so I can't really do a, like, a full day wear test for you guys but I will let you guys know my final thoughts. Let's start off with the cushion foundation but first, can we just take a moment just to appreciate how Instagram worthy this packaging is? It's totally made for social media. So with this, what I like about it is how you can press the foundation down and use it as you go. So I feel like it's a little bit cleaner than the old traditional cushion foundations. This will definitely be suitable for those of you who don't need to cover up a lot of concerns on your face. However, the shades, there's only four shades and I am wearing the darker shade. So it's gonna be very limited like a lot of other cream brands. We all know these, they should change it. For me personally, I feel like I would probably reach for this again, but not as often as my Laneige cushion foundations. I feel like you get better coverage with that, and I like the fact that I don't have to conceal with those cushion foundations. So I would rate these probably a six and a half out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not the best cushion foundation I've used. Same goes for the concealer. I just really like the packaging to this, and I do like the fact that you get two shades, though I don't feel like the formula is that unique. I feel like it's a little bit more drying. I probably prefer like the NARS one or the Bobbi Brown one. However, if you're looking for something like small and compact and just really like cute for Instagram, come on, like this brand is just perfect. Um, I would probably rate this like a six out of 10 for concealer. My go-tos would still be like the Too Faced one and this new Huda Beauty, um, what is this called? Overachiever Concealer. I feel like these ones are way better. As for the multi bombs and eyeshadows, what can I say about these? I mean, the matte shadows, 
for me, they're just a no-go. They just take too long to apply and take forever to blend out and build that intensity up. Um, with the shimmer shades, I feel like they're pretty good. I mean, I can't really complain about those. And the multi bumps, I really like those and they kind of remind me of the 3CE formula. So if you're gonna get one of these, I would just pick like the ones with eyeshadows, like the shimmer eyeshadows and a multi bump. So which one is that? This one, this one is Sunset Romance. It has two shimmer shades and a multi balm that you can use on your lips, your cheeks and your eyes. I feel like only this one is really worth the money because I just really hate the matte shades. But in saying that, I really do like my eye makeup today. I feel like I could just achieve like the same thing and much quicker using my Huda Beauty palettes or my, my Naked palettes. So yeah, this brand doesn't really make the best eyeshadows, but Got to give it to them, their packaging, the packaging guys, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. So for these babies, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of 10. Don't get sucked in by the packaging guys. And if you're going to buy one, Sunset Romance is the one to get. Now, before I forget, I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram. I haven't done a giveaway in ages and like Christmas is just around the corner. So I thought it'd be like perfect timing. So if you guys want to win all this makeup, Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tina underscore Yong and comment on the giveaway photo and let me know what do you guys want for Christmas this year. I will be selecting a winner next week and I will be DMing you guys so make sure you guys check your DMs next week. I'll leave more info for you guys to check out in the description box below. But yeah, that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys, oh, I just laughed myself, ouch. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.